Thank you. Yeah. I'm from Brazil. I am a singer and songwriter. I talked to you maybe 20 days ago. Yeah. In LA. Yeah. And, and you sent your song, as we encouraged you to do. Yeah. And Esther heard it and thinks it's magnificent. Oh. And is in the process of sending it to those people who were there. Yeah. Yeah. So I just moved to, to LA. Yeah. Because everything is doing very well. Yes. Thank you, God. Who's in the vortex? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm feeling so powerful. You are I, powerful. Huh? You are powerful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, I, I'm feeling happy, very happy all the time and so powerful. And do you believe that your happiness is dependent upon conditions or do you think you have risen above conditions and you've just found for now you've tapped into true alignment and therefore happiness? think your happiness is because things are going well do you think your happiness is because you moved to Los Angeles do you think your happiness is because you've been in the hot seat twice do you think your happiness is because <laughs> Esther likes your song or do you think your happiness is unconditional unconditional yeah that's a good thing ah, okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're glad you're sure uh, so, so I'm just thinking I'm, I'm yeah. lost now um, but well, we distracted you just a little bit, yeah, yeah. but it's all right. Just settle into what you wanted to ask. But this is an important distinction. I feel really happy and we want you to feel happy. And we are so enjoying when thoughts have turned to things that you like, because it's easy to perpetuate happiness when thoughts are turning to things uh -huh. that you like. But most of you have got some thoughts that are turning to things that you don't like. And we don't want your happiness or your not happiness to be dependent upon what's turning out. We mm. want you to step back in this knowing of this process that you can be unconditionally happy because it will serve you so well in times when you're still peeling off the layers of the onion and still working on some beliefs that maybe are a little bit still in your way. Mm. Yeah. We want you to enjoy the journey. We want you to be happy about the journey, no matter where the journey is today. And enjoy the trio. Say again. And my accent, sorry. It's all right. The, the how do you say trio? Trio. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> enjoy the the. Yeah. The yeah. Path. So I'm doing this, and because I'm feeling uh, uh, happy, um, happy, uh, unconditional. To got here, to got uh, San Francisco, everything happened very very well. I. I got um, three, um, three seats, uh, you know. Uh, we do. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the flight, and the and the lady said, "Ah, oh, you can sit uh, over there," and uh, I said, "Okay," and I was alone. So everything is doing. Well, the thing that we're wanting to say to you is, <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity for you to hear what we're giving to you. Things are always working out for you, even if there is someone on either side of you. <laughs> and that's the unconditional that we're talking about. Easy to feel happy when you got the whole row to yourself. <laughs> Not so easy when there's a screaming baby and a sneezing woman. <laughs> so that's why we're playing with you about the unconditional but you can get so focused upon the well-being that hindering beliefs don't become active this is the belief conversation that we want to go further about hindering beliefs do not need to become active mm -hmm. because it's sort of like a radio station can only play one song at a time yeah, yeah. so if they're playing a happy song they're not playing an unhappy song at the same time so since we're talking about what you're broadcasting because what you're broadcasting is what your point of attraction is if you just keep broadcasting happy even when a current condition is still maybe a little momentum left over from something that you haven't cleaned up yet eventually it will all get cleaned up mm. yeah so my question is now I just moved to LA and which my next step to to get my success I understood about the unconditional happen right this is my answer but I will ask 
Yes. Can, can you understand yes. me? Yes. So you already know this, but you're going to say it for confirmation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look at this. Which means so, you don't know it quite as much as you're pretending that you do. <laughs> so I ask or, or not? Certainly. Certainly. So, yes. Yeah. Which is my next step to to get my my success in LA? I, I'm I'm feeling. Uh, I know that I will get my success in, in LA, but I'm asking you. <laughs> Devour its beauty in every way you can. Sorry? Focus on the beauty of your environment in every way that you can. Immerse yourself, engulf yourself, surround yourself with as many wonderful aspects of the city, the music business, yeah. the people, the beach, the Sun do everything that you can to be in love with this and 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 in love with this do everything that you can think of to do in a day that will make you happy while you're doing it because your intentions are already in your vortex your inner being already knows what you want and the path to it so you just got to be as happy as you can be so that you'll be in the receptive mode so that you'll be ready for the idea the ideas are being flowed to you all the time you got to be happy to get the idea to receive it to understand it and to feel enough momentum in it to say this is what I'm going to do if you can get it that all you got to do is tap into that you will never be discouraged again you are only ever feeling a feeling of discouragement when you're not tapped into that so our encouragement to you is do everything that you can do to just stay in this happy place there are so many reasons to be happy Esther was at the beach in Del Mar the other day just sitting gazing out the window just pondering asking she knew she was in the receptive mode she was so tuned in she was feeling so good she was just happy for no explicable reason except that she was in the most beautiful place on earth on the most beautiful day with the most beautiful weather in her new van with everything that she could possibly want to eat yeah <laughs> conditions were really good conditions were really good conditions were so good she could not get the grin off her face so she's doing a focus wheel just for the pleasure of positive thoughts flowing and then looked up just as a pod of dolphins five of them five of them just played in a circle right there in front of her just played in a circle just jumped out of the water went under the water for a while she couldn't see them at all and she said oh you're hiding from me and then they pop up over there and then they'd pop up over there first she thought they were migrating north but then she realized they were just there playing just there frolicking she was a vibrational man she felt just like they felt they were equally happy and there they were having the experience together you see what we're getting at now she was in the receptive mode she was in the receptive mode so she looked up just at the right time she wanted to run up and down the beach there was a lady sitting in the car next to her that was looking down at whatever she was doing Esther wanted to say hey 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 look out there hey look out there <laughs> people walking by nobody looking over there nobody looking over there <laughs> Esther saw 20 or 30 people in her very near vicinity she wanted to get out there and say hey 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 look over there something really good that you want to see over there and it wasn't just that they were bored because there are so many dolphins it wasn't anything like that you just want to be in the receptive mode so you don't miss the dolphins or any other ideas that are swimming around you taking you to all of the happiness that you want and deserve yeah enough enough yeah amazing